Hello there. Let us try and understand how to create a new space, invite participants, and assign the roles. How you can also change the roles. So let's get started. As soon as you log in into your home page of the spaces using your Chrome browser, first you will notice is on the bottom left side a button called New Space. Just click on a new space. It'll ask you for the name of the space or a group to be created. I'll give it name as customer A. I'm going to invite a, a participant, which is the, the Gmail account. You'll notice there are three different user rights. Me as an admin get to assign to the invitees. First is the member. When would you select what is member? is the user who would have access to your space to be able to access messaging posts and task sections not only that but the member that particular invitee would be able to create as well as modify their own posts tasks and files moving on the guest where invitee or the participant would only have access to your messaging section, the chat section, and would not be able to see post task at all. Interestingly, the chat also will get disappear once the session is concluded. Finally, admin user right would allow that participant to be able to have access to complete chat, post, and task section where that participant would be able to not only just create, modify and delete their own post tasks and messages as well as that two of admin and other guest members. For our exercise sake, I'm going to select guest as to begin with this particular invitee. I'm going to press OK. What happens now is the invite gets sent to that recipient, which is a via.sumeet. And me as an admin, I automatically get into the respective space, which is newly created called customer A. As a first thing, once you get into the space, I would highly recommend to enable the notification, which is on the bottom left side, the bell icon, click on it once and it turns into orange, which shows it's, it's active now. The second thing I would suggest to do is to make the space as a favorite. If you're going to use that space, on day in and day out itself. Once we are done, we are all set. Let us see how the recipient is going to receive an invite and how he or she is going to be able to join into the space. For that, I'm going to flip the window as the recipient. This is the recipient's email inbox, Google account. I'm going to click on this unread email. You'll notice there's an invite I've received from Sumedh. I'm just going to copy the link and open it in this the other browser just to simulate a, a participant now you notice as soon as i click on that link me as a participant going to get joined into that space called customer a and if you notice now the role of mine as a participant is assigned as a guest only with that, I don't have access to any post or tasks window. If you notice at the center of the screen or above the screen here itself, right? So let's roll back to the admin window where you would notice that admin is able to see and track who are the participants or the member joined to the space. Currently, there's only one member who have joined in avaya.sumed as a guest. If I have to promote this particular participant as admin or member, I would be able to do that just by clicking on these three dots and selecting the desired option where I'll just click on make member, select yes. And you would notice the change on the participant side that the participant gets promoted from guest to member. As soon as this happens, you'll also observe that along with the chat, the post and tasks menus starts appearing for that particular participants. And with that, the participant would be able to create a new post, 
as well as create a new, new tasks and modify their own tasks itself. So moving back to the admin screen. In case admin decides to remove the participants, admin can just click on the three dots again, select re remove option and confirm the selection. Hope this video you found it useful. Keep spacing. Thank you for watching.